Welcome back to another Mermaid Monster episode, you guys. It has been a very busy season of life for us. There are currently a lot of moving parts, mostly exciting things happening, which we can't wait to share with you guys, but we just wanted to say hi, and it's real time me. Thanks for being here. Thanks for commenting. We love saying hi to you guys down there, so be sure to comment. Anyway, today we are moving the boat from Falmouth, Mass to Marion. In order to cut time, we go through the famous woods hole cut. It can be really quite treacherous if you don't know what you're doing or you don't time the tides. So know before you go and you will be uh, a-okay. Also, as you can see, it is extremely foggy, which I don't recommend you do unless you really know what you're doing because the channel markers just pop out of nowhere, which could be scary if you've never done the woods hole cut before. So keep that in mind. Try to not go in the fog. I'm Brooke, and this is Brayden. We have three kids and one dog. Rooney, Penn, Leo, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. And in the morning I gotta keep up with life Got no regrets, I count my blessings But I'm still getting to sleep at night Getting out of the house I heard an eagle in the top of a tree I had to and I got a feeling It was saying something to me I'm calling my father Telling him all the things They them banks and the crowd on the way to my dreams Although I'm a mother I could need some advice A little pat on the shoulder For that long bumpy ride Always going, going forward And no one is stopping me I keep on Yeah, it was smooth. It's always smooth. Not always. Captain's looking you. Alright, I'm gonna come through. Bangs and the crashes on the way to my dreams. Although I'm a mother, I could need some advice. Is that the one you're doing, Ralph? What? The route that's hugging the coast. Uh, does that go to Bermuda? I think we're going to Bermuda. No, I'm serious. There's one that goes farther out. The coast and then is there's there. See? No, but there's one that follows the coastline. There's the coast right there. We are only about a half mile from the coast. And uh, Brooke's like, are you going out to sea? What's going on? That's the fog. So we're going through Woods Hole. We're about to go through Woods Hole. If you don't know where that is, it's a cut in between, I think it's the Elizabeth Islands up to the Cape. Why is this so dark? And um, it's socked in fog. Like you can't see maybe 40 feet in front of you, 50 feet in front of you, I would say. So we're having issues with our radar. No, we're not. That's fine. Braden says we're not. But it kind of seems like we are, but hopefully it's working. So it's going to be an interesting time through until we're trying to time slack tide. Our buddy boat is going, he wants to go at full flood <laughs> and ride that current all the way through. So we're going to see him later today. Yeah, it's an interesting, interesting time going through the fog. These little fishing boats are like, it's like a video game. They're popping out of nowhere. like. Oh, gotta dodge this one. Oh, gotta dodge that one. So hopefully we don't have that when we're going through the actual cut. But anyway, it's notorious for really strong current up to, I think, four knots. So it can kind of mess you up, but we should be good. I got a feeling it was safe. 
<laughs> I want to be you right now. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. So we have to make sure the charts are there, and then you have to see the mark on the radar as well. And the mark out there. It's just. But you can see it there almost too late. You'll notice it's, it, you can't see up to, it's a tenth of a mile away right now. And you cannot see that. No. That mark out there. So foggy. Pretty mild though. So the biggest fear right now is if one of these uh, sea street ferries comes through mm -hmm. at like 40 knots, 30 knots, that, that no, would be, no, 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 no. that would That's be a little, that would be a little stressful. It's not gonna happen. The green's gonna pop up any second. Tell me when you see the green over here. See it? I have to tell him when I see the green. No, there's no green. Yeah, about a tenth, less than a tenth. I don't see any green at all. Oh, it's really bright. Coming up. There's a boat, a fishing boat. Oh, that was the green. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, watch it. You're too close, too close. Yeah, you're pretty close to it. Wait, what green are you talking about? This one? Yeah, that green on the left. This is a green too because there's another channel over there. Sketchy. I feel like I'm in Maine. This is sketchy. There's another rock pile. Holy cow. Crazy. Don't have a mother. I could eat some advice. A little pie. I'm just, I don't like what we're doing. We're going the wrong way. 35? Why is 7 times 5? What does that have to do? Alright, we made it. Tons of room to anchor here. Cleaning up the trash. Brain's getting the bridle on, but overall it was a great couple hour cruise. We're gonna get the dinghy down and go explore and have a good time. Okay, here we go. We're ready. You ready? Yeah, where are we at? Look at Leo. Oh uh, we're in Marion. Are you kidding me right now? He is so cute. Marion. In uh. Marion. What state? Marion. What state? Massachusetts, maybe. You I know don't. what's weird is that you don't really cross Marian. like state lines when you're yeah, on you a boat. Yeah, you have no so idea where you are. Sometimes it's hard to tell which state you're in. Totally. Okay, I'm gonna hand you this. Your backpack's open. I know. All that stuff's gonna come out. Hey, can I have that, Trey? No. Did you get that for me? For me. For me? What the? <laughs> he just is like giving up. He's like, okay, I guess I'm sitting here. <laughs> the seat's gonna be. What? What are you doing? Because there's dirty college kids that live here. Go They're not college. Children. This is high school. Oh, this is high school? Yeah. Yeah. I missed that piece of information. Even... Even dirtier. Is it okay? It's okay, is it? No, it's him. Look at that. Now he's going crazy. So we just got back exploring a little bit of the town at Marion. It's really cute and quaint. And yeah. We just walked around, stretched our legs, had a very lazy day, to be honest. Um, but our friends uh, from Falmouth Energy, uh, if you remember, they filled our, our boat up with their fuel trucks, and we've become good friends with them. They are picking us up on their Axopar boat, and we're going to pile in with us, and then our buddy boat on Sole Coast, those guys gonna jump in and we're gonna go get pizza for dinner so that's kind of the plan uh, we're just kind of waiting for him <laughs> keeping an eye out and there's a storm just rain behind us so we might get wet never know other than that it's been a great day just a good cruise like a lazy day 
a little adventure, a little relaxation. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. Cheers. Yeah, grab him. It's normally good to put that jack on before you do that. Yeah, if you pull it in just a tiny bit, I, am I okay to step on stuff? There's a little step right below your foot here, too. Got it, buddy? We're in. Awesome. We gotta get it. We're getting a shoe. We lost a shoe. Malcolm wasn't. He wasn't. Uh, he didn't think the speed could do anything. He leaves his stuff on the back deck all the time. And he's I know. still there. <laughs> Two <laughs> days later. Oh wait, is that? No. Oh, that's the water. You see it? I just got the rocks blow. We have to go to dinner with one shoe. We're not used to the speed, so. Um, yeah, we lost a shoe. We'll see if we can recover it. <laughs> Over there? He sees right. it? Oh my gosh. If we recover this, we should laugh. Oh my gosh. Let's see if he can get it. Okay, you're getting close. Okay, I would just stop here. Okay, don't chop me up. How do you do? Yay! You got it! Wave you your hand it. in the air! Woo! Save me embarrassment. Yeah. <laughs> no croc lost. <laughs> no croc left behind. No croc left behind. <laughs> Any guesses on what year that engine is? It looks like it was uh, given to him by his grandpa. And he's gotta be at least 50 too. I mean, just guess it, his, his grandpa. Wow. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, give us a like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment below. Also, join us next week for another adventure on Mermaid Monster, cruising to a new destination. I'm gonna do a circle and then come up to it, drop the anchor and then pay back and I should end up in a really good spot.